Hi, Dr. DeCranian and Charlotte. It's great to talk to you. Like to, likewise, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I, I, I actually am the uh, parent of two daughters with rheumatoid arthritis, and my mother and my mother-in-law both have rheumatoid arthritis, so I have a, a somewhat understanding of uh, some of the difficulties managing with uh, this problem. But why don't you, doctor, tell us a little bit about the suit that you're wearing and how it emulates uh, what a person with arthritis might be feeling. Certainly, sure, Jamie. So it's exactly that, that um, this physical function suit is meant to show how difficult simple daily tasks like reaching up above my shoulder or trying to bend down to tie my shoes or pick up something from the floor or things that we take for granted, picking up a pen to write something, how difficult and challenging because of the stiffness of my fingers. You can see that my fingers just are not moving as normally, and this is really without the pain that arthritis patients might be feeling. Uh, so it becomes very easily recognizable that arthritis patients are suffering uh, on a day-to-day -day basis by doing the simple things that the rest of us take for granted. And as a rheumatologist, this is a unique opportunity for me to put on a suit like this to kind of put myself in the shoes of a patient who has rheumatoid arthritis to get a better understanding of what it really feels like. How important is it for a, a physician or a nurse or other healthcare professional to really get an opportunity when they have them to put themselves in these types of situations where they can better understand what their patient's going through? Uh, it's extremely important, Jamie. Uh, so, you know, we, we deal with patients with rheumatoid arthritis on a daily basis, and no matter how much we learn or read or are able to manage them, uh, this simple insight into what it really feels like to, to not be able to do the things that we take for granted uh, just gives us an opportunity to even better treat the patient. Uh, so to listen a little bit better, to put more importance on function um, and how important that is to maintain a quality of life. Um, and all of this obviously serves the purpose of trying to recognize arthritis uh, in patients who may not necessarily know they have it even. Mm -hmm. That's an important point too, uh, just for the early in the diagnostic process uh, for patients that maybe aren't aware that they have this problem right away. Uh, Charlotte, tell us a little bit about your experience uh, dealing with uh, having rheumatoid arthritis and those, op those times when you have flare-ups and, and are, are having more difficulty than even normal. Um, everyday tasks were, are very frustrating because it takes twice as long to do an, a normal anything in what you're doing, like what he's just trying to take a cap off of a bottle and how encumbered he is and how uh, awkward and, and painful th that goes along with it. For me as a mom, just trying to navigate uh, doing the, the laundry, you know, going downstairs, there were days that I couldn't do it. I would have to, I was literally trapped on one floor. Um, cutting meat. Uh, my husband has to cut my meat for me on my plate because I, I just couldn't do it. What do you think of when you look at um, Dr. DeCranian in this suit and, and how uh, it, it helps him to better understand what you are going through? Does, does, it, does it help you better communicate with your care provider? I think it's awesome. I, I feel that a suit speaks a thousand words because seeing his movement reflects the way I've, I was moving at, during those times and during my flare-ups. And it's like seeing me in a mirror and definitely helps me with my rheumatologist and how I can communicate with him and tell him how I feel and what's going on and making sure that I am very open with him so that he, he knows wh where I'm at. Dr. DeCranian, uh, this sounds like a great opportunity for that patient healthcare professional partnership that's so important to having an effective uh, care process occur. Uh, what do you think about that? Uh, absolutely. So we recognize that uh, not all patients are the same and not everyone's treatment's going to be the same. So it's important to understand the goals of the patient, the goals of the rheumatologist in terms of minimizing the symptoms that the joint swelling and pain and stiffness can provide. Uh, to maintain the function uh, of the patient as best as possible, and then obviously to prevent irreversible joint damage that may occur as well. 
So we know that uh, the partnership not, rests not just on the patient and physician, but also on allied healthcare practitioners, on uh, primary care physicians, and also support services. So it's important for patients to feel empowered by knowing as much as they're able to know about arthritis by going to websites like ra.com or arthritis.org in order to gain all the information that they need to make the best treatment decisions for themselves. Well, I want to thank both of you for taking a few moments out of your busy schedules to come and talk with uh, my audience here at um, the nursing show. And uh, hopefully some of our nurses will be better able to understand uh, their patients with rheumatoid arthritis and, and help direct them to the resources they need to uh, better manage their disease. Yes, it's a great opportunity. Thank you for having us. Thank you.